what is the image of the polygon below after the rotation? So this is a transformation. It's a rotational transformation of 270 degrees. So what we, and, and when they talk about a rotational transformation, at least in the context of this exercise, we're talking about a rotation around the origin, so around this point. So the way I like to think about it is pick one of these points, one of these orange points, and essentially rotate it around the origin 270 degrees. So let's do that. So this would be rotating it. And, and when we talk about positive angles, we're talking about going in the counterclockwise directions, the same way that we typically measure angles when we're doing trigonometry with the unit circle and things like that. So here, so we started here. And let's rotate 90 degrees. Then we could keep rotating, rotate another 90 degrees. So we've rotated a total of 180 degrees. And then we rotate 90 more degrees to get to 270. Let's do a couple more of these. What is the transformation that rotates the blue, the blue solid shape to the orange dashed shape? Now this one's a little bit, we don't have, we don't have the manipulative here to, to help us answer that question. So this is really going to challenge, challenge our powers of visualization. So the main thing is to pick a point on the blue shape and see where does it end up on the orange dashed shape. And I'll pick this point right over here because you can see it's kind of pointing straight in that it's pointing straight to the top left. And then when you go onto the orange dash shape, it's pointing to the bottom right. So this one went all the way around. So you could say it went, it was pointing from this direction and it went all the way to going in the exact opposite direction. And it, so this was a 180 degree transformation, 180 degree rotation. Let's do a few more. So what's the image of the polygon? So they want us to do another 270 degree rotation. So like before, so let's rotate, let's rotate this three-fourths of the way around. So let's see how we can do that. So right now, so this is going to be a little bit trickier. So if we, actually I'm going to pick this point because it's easier to visualize the 270 degrees. So now we've done 90 degrees. Now we can do 180 degrees. And now we've done 270 degrees.